Good morning, people. Good morning. Good morning to those people out there in the land of the tube of you. Good morning. We're back for another mail. Get ready with me. We are back here where we're going to learn a new um, tie knot. I know it's early. So some people are going to probably catch the replay, which is plump, which is fine, but we'll be here nonetheless. And let me um, greet the people here in the chat appropriately. There's my Shondo in the chat. And we'll go from there. Um... <laughs> Excuse me. Good morning. Good morning. As you all come in, let me say this about this tie. This tie is probably going to be as we get into our more um, intricate or fancy ties, as some people would say, this is going to be the easiest one. So this is why I'm doing this first. Hopefully you practice the double Windsor. You practiced your um, self tie bow tie um, that we learned last week. And um, this week you can get into um, this one and you start to get a little more fancy. This is gonna be the easiest one. I'm probably gonna be able to do it three times. That's how easy it is. Um, hey, surprise around the corner. I missed your last video. I got. I saw that it was up. I think you did it yesterday. Gotta go back and watch it. Um, since I'm a corner boy, <laughs> so I got to go back and watch your last video. Um, surprise around the corner. Glad to be a um corner boy once again. Shouts out to surprise around the corner. He got to his 1000. We're so happy for him. Um, hopefully, he can start getting that money. Um, hey, Nicole Stevens. Um, and we're here. I want to say because this tie is so easy and it's not going to take us, but that much time to um make it um we're going to talk about some other things about getting ready as a male okay so when you're a male or man i keep saying male and man because you know it's 2020 and you gotta you know incorporate everybody even if you're a female and you are wanting to wear a, a tie some you you have a lot of women that would like to wear a tie too so whatever you are male female or non-binary um when you are wearing a dress shirt, um, there are many different styles of dress shirts. Now, one thing that I wanted to say was, um, if you notice last week, I had a buttoned collar. This week, I also have a buttoned collar. I always wear button collar. I prefer button collar. I love a button collar because it alleviates me having to have a tie. I'm not a tie, a collar stay and collar stays are the little plastic thing, or if you have a fancy one, it's metal, you stick it in the, um, you stick it on the inside and it goes right there and it keeps the collar down, it keeps the collar straight. They're called collar stays. You can actually go to um, Walgreens or Walmart or somewhere and buy a whole pack of collar stays, um, the plastic kind, but you can also buy the metal ones, which are the fancy ones. I, I have a set of metal ones, but I never wear them because I'm I'm so bad at losing my collar stays that I don't want to lose my expensive collar stays. So I only wear those on fancy, fancy, fancy occasions, like when I'm wearing my tuxedo. Um, other people have come in. Good morning, uh, Miss Tony Shondo. To you, good morning. I just looked up your previous how to tie a tie, but it was a bow tie. Actually, the previous how to tie the tie was two ties. It was a self tie bow tie, and it was the double Windsor. And those were our business ties. Those were the two knots that I wanted to do first because those are go-to knots. Like you got to know a double Windsor. You got to know how to tie a self-tie bow tie. And so that's why those two were our, um, I did two on that first um, how to tie a tie, get ready with me mail video. So um, this week we'll do one. We're, we're getting into our fancy ties. So if you want, um, after this video, Miss Tony, Go back and look because we actually spent more. We didn't get to the self-tie bow tie until the end of the video. We spent way more time on the double Windsor. 
than we did on the self tie bow tie. Um, hey, Jay Parrish, Shondo to you. Hey, CC Uncut, good morning. Um, it's Sister 47. How are you, my love? Good morning. How are you? Right. The uh Miss T uh Miss Tony, last week's episode was a regular necktie. Even though it was a wasn't a regular standard Windsor, it was a double Windsor, which is a standard regular necktie tie. You want to know how to do a double Windsor simply because the double Windsor is is very business like professional church, you know, things like that. It's not it doesn't make the knot as skinny as sometimes the regular um Windsor knot or the regular as people say the regular tie would do. So yes. So that was a couple of things. So that's why you see me be uh, whenever I am wearing a dress shirt and tie and I don't have a blazer or a jacket on with it. I try to wear um, the button collar because it's much easier to deal with. I um, mean, I don't have to worry about collar stays. So, yes. Um, now. Um, choices in shirts and ties for this. The name of this tie is the Van Wig. It's pronounced um, van like a van you drive in and wig like wigs that women wear on their head. I try to get fancy sometime and instead of saying Van Wig, I say Van Wig because it has a J and a K in there. But it's technically pronounced Van Wig like a van and a wig you wear on your head. All right. So, hey, Discovering Des, good morning to you. Um, so, now, I, I was doing that so you can get a chance to get your tie ready now. <clears throat> the Van Wig um, knot, my per I'm going to let you know what I do. You never see me wear this, this, and I have another tie. I would have to go find it. That I always, um, if I'm going to do the Van Wig, I always use these. Good morning, Ebby. You don't want to use a tie that has a lot going on. You want a solid color tie. And believe it or not, you really want a solid colored shirt. Okay. I don't try to do stripes with this tie. I don't try to do um, a whole lot with my shirt um, in terms of patterns or designs. Also for your um, tie, the reason I say pick a solid color tie is um, that's the best way to see the layers. Okay, the best way to see it to the late to um, to see the layers is with a solid color tie. If you have a tie that has a lot of um, designs or pattern the layers will get lost in the pattern and you won't see it. I also don't recommend a very dark color tie. Like I wouldn't recommend this with a solid black. You probably could pull this off with a solid brown, but a solid black, I wouldn't. Unless it's a glossy black and not a matte black tie, but a, a glossy black maybe made out of silk, um, then maybe you could pull it off. Then, yeah, you can pull it off then. But you got to have, uh, and the reason you can pull it off then is because the light will shine on that silk and it'll contrast and you can actually see the layers of the tie. Okay. So um, with my shirt, because my shirt is not, doesn't have a lot going on. I try not to use with this tie a lot of patterns or designs with the shirt. I usually try to pick a color that's not a plain um, I usually that's why I try to play around with colors. So because I have this um, red tie, um, I'm not sure what shade of red this is, but it's a red tie. And I have this um, pink salmon colored It's somewhere between pink and salmon in that scope or realm. <laughs> Um, I try to, um, I have that. So it's an interesting color shirt. Actually, when you, if you look, you can't see because my, my webcam on my laptop here is so horrible. But actually, if you went really, really close, you could see that it's actually red and white dots. But it, when you look at it from afar, it looks like a pink shirt. And even this has a slight, you see how it has a slight design 
but it's all red. Um, and it doesn't take away from what we're doing. All right. <clears throat> so everybody has their ties ready. Everybody ready to tie their tie with me. <sighs> Are we ready? Put a 27 in the chat if, every, if you're ready to try the Van Wig Knot. So I hope y'all have a great, those people who are um, doing this with me. You're right, discovering that those subtle textures, I love a tie that looks like a solid tie, but when you come up close, it has like, it's textured and things like that, or it might be braided or something like that. I love those type of ties because they're the sneak up on you ties. They are, and they're, to me, they're like um, the right amount of cologne. The right amount of cologne on a man is not like, ah, it doesn't greet you from afar. But when you walk up on him and, you know, hug or embrace him or walk up on him to say hi, you go, oh, that is nice. You know, that's what you want your cologne to do. You don't want it to scream and jump out at you. Uh, it's the same way with this kind of tie. The, the little, you know, textures doesn't scream out at you. But when you run up on it, you go, oh, well, that's nice. You know, that's kind of what you want. All right. So, hey, little baby. Shondo to you, my love. All right. So we're going to do like we normally do. This is the eat. Listen, in terms of our intricate knots, this is as easy as they come. <coughs> it's easier to tie this knot than it is to tie a regular knot. <laughs> I'm telling you. And you probably could get away with this. You know, at, you remember how last week I said you don't want to do the fancy or intricate knots for an interview or things like that. This knot is so simple and subtle, yet fancy. You could probably get away with wearing this knot at um, like an interview or something like that. All right. So I want to show you length again. Let me back up so you can see length. Now, for this tie... Um, let me back up a little bit more. I don't have on nothing underneath that, so I can't back up no more. I want to show y'all nothing. Now, now, this tie takes up a lot of time. Making this tie, it takes up a lot of your time. So, whereas normally I might have, remember we talked about my widow's, not my widow's peak, my, the peak of the small end. Sometimes I like to have that one where my belly button is. Um, if I was tied a regular tie and go like that, this one is not that way. I need this one up a little bit. I mean, not a little bit, a lot of it. So for me, my point of reference is somewhere in between the second and the third button. This, when I'm talking, when I've mentioned buttons, I'm never talking about this one. The, when I say button number one, it's always this one, never this one. So this is always button number one. This is zero for me, but this is always button number one, then two, then three. So my gauge is somewhere in between the second and third button. So you see, how much longer this side is than that side. You're going to need that because um, this tie takes up a lot of the tie material. Hey, Michelle's daughter. All right. So this is another one of those ones where your fingers and your um, is going to come in play. So remember how we did the fingers, your middle finger, your um, index finger and your thumb. All right. That's what we're doing. So this is my right side. This is my left side. All right. I'm doing this as a right handed person. If you are left handed, I'm sorry, my love. I am right handed and I have not yet perfected how to be ambidextrous. OK. All right. So this this is my right hand. This is my left hand. All right. So let's have at it. I'm going to take the tie and I'm going to go over like I do for it. Start every tie. I'm holding it. And then I'm going to go under and over this way. Now, when I go over this way, I need you to hold it. This is where your thumb needs to be holding at the bottom. OK, this is where you want to hold it. This is the hold position. OK, this hold position is very important. If you notice uh, my tag is out now. Tag is outward. This 
holding holding this part right here is the most important because you're going to be holding that for the rest of the time until we're done. Okay, you need at least two fingers here. I've seen some people try to put three fingers here, which you can because they could they know you need room in here. But if you do that, it makes it hard to maneuver the pinky finger. So I usually just do two fingers like we learned how to grip the tie. So this is your grip. You want to hold this grip um, with all your might. Now, if you notice, I told you all I'm not a big fan of having a lot of space in between um my neck and um how where i'm tied i'm not a big fan of having a whole lot of space. you need some space in between but um with the v but i'm not a fan of having a whole lot but that's just my preference you may need a lot because you may be learning and so you can take as much room as you need all right <clears throat> now this is the it's this is a three layer tie and so you go around three times so we're gonna go around you do not move this your left hand, once you have this grip right here, you do not move that left hand at all. You hold that left hand until I tell you not to hold it anymore. All right. So we're going to go one time around, under, we're back, around the fingers. Second time around, under, and back. And then the third time around. Now, the third time, I'm not going to go all the way over here. The third time, I'm going to go around and then I'm going to go up through the V and then I'm going to stick the tie in that hole that was made by my fingers. Now you can move your fingers or you can use your fingers to grab the tie. I stick the tie in there. I pulled the big part down and oh boy and then voila let me show you all up close. See how it has one, two, three layers. And that's my tie. That's it. If I want now, this tie is easy enough. If I wanted to spread my layers out, I can. If I wanted my layers more tight and compact, I can do that. All right. But you notice how if you are not looking, if it had a lot of pattern to this tie, you wouldn't be able to see the layers perhaps. Okay. So all I do now is tighten my tie and I'm ready to go. All right, I tighten my tie and I'm ready to go. Pull my collar down and there we go. The Van Week, the Van Week, very easy. I told you it was the easiest tie we're gonna make. The easiest of them all, we'll do it again. That's how easy it is. We'll do it at least two more times. All right, take it a look. Listen, this is the, the one, see, some of the other more intricate ties, you got to go practice. You're going to mess up. Even I, on some of the more intricate knots, listen, I have to take, I, I mess up in the middle. I have to just take it all the loose. I just try it again because I'll be the mess up. <laughs> because I'll be the messed up and I'll be like, oh. And so, um, <clears throat> that's why. Um, I love this knot because it isn't, you don't see a lot of people wearing the band wig. It's not a common, you see a lot of people when they try to get fancy. They wear the um, the Trinity knot. The Trinity knot is real trendy for people who aren't used to wearing intricate tie knots. So they'll say, ooh, I got the Trinity. And I'll be side-eyeing them like, ooh, you have the Trinity. Everybody got the Trinity. Not a lot of people wear the band wig. And so, and people don't notice it because it looks at first like a regular um, tie knot. And then when you roll up on it, you go, oh, that's fancy. So we're going to try it again. Yeah, once you got the basics with this one, that's why I did the double Windsor first. That double Windsor, if you could master that double Windsor, this one is easier than the double Windsor. Okay. This tie is way easier than the double Windsor. So that's why I say, I love this tie. I, I can rock this tie and, you know, especially if I, I love this, this tie knot is better, it's easier than the double Windsor. But I love this tie. And I have another tie. It's textured as well, but it's all solid. All right. That I wear, the, and I'll do the Van Wig with that. And usually when I wear that tie, do the Van Wig, I'm trying to look. It gives me a 
sporty, trendy, neo soul type look. So if I'm wearing the Van wig, I'm usually wearing a blazer, a sports blazer and some nice slacks with maybe my um, brown shoes. Let me show you what shoes I'm talking about because I love these shoes. Like. Shoes. Oh boy. All right, found. So I would rock like a nice, you know, shoe like this. That's nice. And, you know, brown, like, you know, with designs in it, like one of the, I love, you know, rocking it. And I might wear my, um, I have a, um, a, um, a dark brown, um, kind of like braided, knitted blazer that has a little red pinstripe in it, you know, in different, it's really, and you know, I put it together with some nice, um, slacks, it's a child, you know. We have to put them together. We have to put them together. But yeah, you know, a nice shoe like this. And then they look at the shoe, go, oh, that's a nice shoe. And then you um, you know, the design, oh, that's a nice design shoe. And then they look and they see your tie, you go, oh, oh, now that's different. You know, something that make you stand out and pop. All right. All right. So let's start again. Remember, I told you this takes up a lot of the tie. So now I'm small enough where I can have mine closer to the um, butt number three. But I told you I have a small neck. So my my neck is about a 15. Um, is Yeah, I'm, a, I'm about a 15, which is very small. Uh, most men, average man is around 17 or 18 um, in terms of the neck size and stuff like that. All right, we're ready to go again. We're going to try it again. Even for the people that's late, you're going to get this one. It's nice. Show your husband, have your son practice this one this morning before you go to church, and you have a nice time. All right. So we're going to go like that. We cross over, and we go like that um, and underneath. And now that's what we hold. All right? Remember, we are holding here. All right? This is where we hold, where I'm holding it out. My tag is facing outward. All right, we're holding here. You can see the pleat or the hem in the tie facing outward. This is where you hold. Remember what I said, you hold this for your life. Hold it and hold it mm, mm, mm. and hold it mm, mm, mm. and hold it. Mm, mm, mm. Cha-cha real smooth. Mm, mm. Mm -mm -mm. Turn it out. No, you know what? I love the Cha Cha Slide. Cha Cha Slide is one of them songs. I don't care what party I'm at. I don't care what I got on. I don't care what I'm doing. Cha Cha Slide come on, especially the remix. Oh, I'm getting out there and doing my Cha Cha Slide. I don't really care for the um them other ones. I I don't like all them other ones. I like Cha Cha Slide. That's it. You know, you can't get out there on some of them um dances because let one of them old ladies see you miss a step and see if they'll um drop kick you in the throat you know them old ladies like the love come on home mm -hmm. let's do the twist i can't do that mess that shit is like learning quantum physics where you know you got too many moves all, mm -mm. Mm -mm. all i need is my cha-cha slide all right so we get ready with me male all right my tie Told y'all this is the easiest tie we're going to do. It's going to get harder. It's going to get harder. All right. So we're holding now. We're holding. And this is the three, three layers. So we go around three times. One around. Two around. Three down up through the V. And then we come through the holes that we made with our fingers. We pull it down. There's our three layers. One, two, three. 
just like we like it. You can adjust the layers as need be to your liking. All right. And then we just pull it up and tighten it. And there is. And this is one of those ties that the length always comes out perfect for me. Like I don't even have to adjust the length of this tie. It's something about this tie knot. It always, the length always comes out perfect. It always ends right at the bottom of my belt. Remember, we learned that last week about when you're wearing a tie. The peak of the tie, the peak should stop at the bottom of the belt, not below the bottom of the belt, not above the belt. Somewhere in that belt, it doesn't have to be in, directly at the bottom of the belt. It certainly shouldn't be above the belt, but it should stop. The peak of your tie should stop in the belt, <laughs> you know, in the width of the belt, not above, not below the belt. That's very important. I want you going outside looking like a clown, having people like me side eye you like, where do you think he's going at? Where she thinks she's going at? With that, you know? And there's our wonderful Van Wig knot. Three layers. One, two, three. That little layer is hard to see now. Tighten it up a little bit. All right. All right. Tighten it. Uh, and this tie is very easy, and you can see that. See the three layers? One, two, three. This tie is very easy to adjust um, once you have it tied and so forth. <coughs> the most difficult part about this tie is um, when you take it loose, it does take a little unraveling and stuff like that. All right. Uh, do we do one more round? One more time? Or are we good with just our two? One more time. Get on down. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Lower, lower, lower. Roll it. Put a 27 in the chat if we need one more time. Hey, Belize. I know people just getting up and my poor people like Danny over on the West Coast, where it's just about to turn eight o'clock there. Um, no, I'm sorry. It's just about to turn. It's about to turn nine o'clock. It's about to turn seven o'clock there. It's just about to turn seven o'clock there. So it's still it's six fifty eight over there on the West Coast. So I know they um, sleep. Child, you hung over over there, um, Belize? Child. You got it, Miss Tony. Good, good, good. So we're gonna do it one more time. I told y'all this is my easiest not to make. I we could do this in our sleep almost. Um, <clears throat> some of my more intricate knots, I have to relearn myself because I may not do it as often, and so I have to um, reteach myself how to do it because I forgot I ain't used it that much. Um, so I'll go back and redo it myself. But this is one of those intricate um, or fancy knots that I never forget. It's so easy. I I don't I don't forget it. It's just easy. All right. One more time. Get on down. Mm, roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Mm, roll it. Roll it. Lower. 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 Mm, roll it. Oh, I'm sorry. I got distracted. I'm a Miami boy. You play Miami music. I'm here for it. All right. So we're going to go again. Remember what I said. You need a lot on the big side. You need a lot of slack on the big side because it takes up a lot of, um, of the tie itself. Okay. So, <clears throat> and that was for people who might have come in late. Hey, YBS Mary, if you came in late, I didn't show you. This tie takes up a lot of the tie. So I'm showing you how much longer. This actually the tie, the peak is all the way down at my knee and I'm five nine, but the peak is all the way down at my knee. That's how much longer you need. Um, you need a lot of slack on the um, big part. All right. So. All right. This is our third go round with this. This is the easy tie. We, we're going to get in and out with this one. All right. We go over. We go around like so. And this is where we hold it and hold it. Mm. Mm, and hold it mm, mm, and hold it. This is where your tag is outward. Tag and pleat are facing outward or him. 
um, I should say with him and the tag are facing outward. This is where you hold. Make sure you keep that thumb, that index finger and that middle finger. They are holding one time over the fingers around two times over, under and around. And then the third time you go over and then you go up through your V. All right. Stick the tie inside the little hole that you made with your fingers. Some people like to catch it with the two fingers that are down there. If I really don't have to do that because, yeah, but some people like to pull it down, make your three layers. There's my three layers. And it comes out so easy. It's so easy to do. And even if you mess up, you can go and adjust your layers as you see fit. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I tighten it up. And now I'm ready to rock my Van Wig knot. Van Wig. All right. I don't like that's not tight enough for me. So let me tighten it a little more. I like a tight knot. You know, I like my knots tight. So, but that's just my own personal preference. All right. That's too high. But you know, you see how I'm just adjusting um, on the fly. You can do that with this knot. It's so easy, so user friendly, so easy to, you know, maneuver. And we're done. The Van Wig. Mm, mm, mm. Van Wig. Mm, mm, mm. So that was our get ready with me this morning. How to tie a tie using the Van Wig knot. Uh, can I see my third layer? Oh, there it is. It's kind of hard to see. Adjust that a little more. All right. Now, watch it. It looks like a regular tie. Not, but then when I go close, I go, oh, you're fancy, huh? So, the Van Wig. Um, I hope you liked it. Mm, mm, I hope you liked it. Mm, mm. The Van Wig. The mm, mm. Van Wig. Mm, mm. Yeah. So, I sincerely hope that these videos have been, um, are, I should say, um, helpful to you. Um, you might be, like I said last week, you might be helping your son, grandson, nephew, godson, or whatnot, learn how to tie a tie. You might be helping your husband or brother um, learn how to tie a tie um, <clears throat> and so forth. Um, any questions for me from the people in the chat? Any questions for me from the people in the chat? Um, okay. I don't have any questions. So if there aren't any more questions, then we will have to let you go. Because I don't want to make this video too long. Can we see a full ensemble? Not this morning. I'm not full ensemble ready. But I, you know, I would have to go iron and stuff like that and find stuff. And I'm packing. So I can't. I don't want to unpack. I was kind of mad that I had to unpack this shirt and tie to um <laughs> to do this video, but I did it. Um, um yeah. Anyway, yeah, so maybe I might do that one day. I might do it one day. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and I and to get to this tie, I had to go through all of my suspenders and braces and stuff like that because it was at the bottom of the suitcase I had with my tie, suspenders, and braces and stuff. Are you going to go over how to match ties like color coordinated? Well, we've been doing that. I did that. Last week, a little bit with the self tie bow tie, and I talked about the color of the shirt matched um, with the color of the bow tie. I did that today with this tie, and I talked about if you go back to the beginning of this video, um, 
believes when the um when to watch the replay. I did talk about what types of ties you want to use for the van wig knot, and then what types of shirts I usually type like to do with the van wig knot. <coughs> so we did go over that, and so I will normally try to do that. Um, for a lot of your more intricate knots um, that has a lot of different layers where you really want to see the complexity of the knot itself, they do call for you to wear more of a solid colored knot um, and so forth. Like one tie that I wouldn't wear um, with this would be like the um, tie we used last week with the double Windsor. No, I, I, yeah, I wouldn't wear that with this one because that one was Argyle. It was that brown um, tie with the Argyle and it had the small um, light blue Argyle pattern, which matched the light blue of the shirt and things like that. So we did talk a little about that last week in last week's video. And I went over some of that this week um, at the beginning of this video. Yeah, I saw the one last week when it was covered. I'm going to uh, replay this one. one time. OK, well, you were right on time. With this lesson, next no problem, Miss Tony. I'm glad I could be here to help. Um, y'all know all my information will be in. Is it in the description box now? No, it is not. Um, I would tell one of my mods to put it in the chat, but let me do it. I don't know what my mods be doing, dear God. You know, good help is so hard to find, y'all. Good help is so hard to find. They're probably asleep, and that's fine. My mods are probably asleep. Um, so let me put all my information myself, dear Lord. And um, we've been having some good instructional videos the last couple of days. I found out while I'm typing this, the Googles that YouTube has given me a copyright strike for my video last night on how to make a successful YouTube channel, which was a great video. But um, when I played my old um, intros from, um, when I played my old intros from my old channel and they had the Chrisette Michelle playing, um, the Googles didn't like that and I got a copyright. I didn't get a strike, but I got a copyright um, claim or whatever. So they refused to monetize that video <clears throat> which i thought was a great video maybe i'll go in and edit it in the youtube studio and take that part out but yeah and i went through all of that to go find those intros for y'all and then that's what i think got me the copyright strike well it wasn't a strike but the copyright claim so i was kind of sad about that no money for that except for the um one super chat that i got i think i got two super chats but it is what it is. Any other questions? I know they so petty, believe they are so petty. Where did the name Van Wig come from? I'm I'm sure I'm I'm guessing it came from the person who invented the knot. Um, if I could guess, I could probably go research that and find out. I am not sure. Um, but my guess, and I could be wrong, but my guess is that it probably came from the person who invented the knot. I don't know. But I'm not sure what the name, I just know that's the name of this knot, um, <clears throat> this three-tiered knot. All right. All right, so that's all I got for y'all this week. I will not um, keep you, I won't belabor the issue. I got some things to do today. I don't know if really B and I will be doing our stuff on the teacher project today. We'll see. Um, my last sexy Sunday slash Monday went so horribly. I'm so afraid to do sexy Sundays. It's just, it, it really frazzled me and yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but let me get off here. I'm, I'm I'm just talking now and just lingering on like I ain't got nothing to do. 
Thank y'all for being here. As I always say, I love y'all and I love on y'all. Thank y'all for everything that you do. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all of the support that you give. Um, and thank you just for listening. Um, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and put a Shondo in the chat before we get out of here. Can I get everybody still in here to put a quick Shondo in the chat? Um, hopefully, you know, have a great day. Those people going to church, try the tie, try the knot um, at church today. If you are um, or if you're going to try it tomorrow at work, try the knot tomorrow at work. Um, if you wear a shirt and tie to work um, and so forth. So if you see me, look for me. If you don't see me, don't look for me later today. <laughs> we'll see how uh, if I'm on any more videos. But I do know I have some things to do today, but um, we'll see how much of it. How much y'all see me today. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Thank y'all for coming. Y'all drive safely and we out.